Alright, what's up everybody? Today is March 24th, uh, 2020. Um, right now it's about 5-10 minutes from sunset. I'm very grateful to be shooting this intro with a little bit of light because uh, my last two night videos, even with a headlight and a, you know an LED um, light with me, they're pretty uh, pretty hard to really watch until like I shine the light. So uh, if you watched yesterday's video, you saw that uh, it was our first salt word trip. It wasn't uh, what I would consider success. You know, one spiny dogfish is you know not a successful trip. But uh, nevertheless, tonight's a new night. Now I'm heading out to a spot where I know the stripers are there. Um, it's just going to be matter of whether they're feeding or not um, bait I'm gonna be using is bloodworms on a high low rig uh, I tied these rigs this morning they are uh, two gamagatsu hooks about six inches apart I'm using a, uh, a sorry gamagatsu I want to say they're two O hooks um, regular octopus no circle hook uh, be using about two ounces of weight on that rod I also uh, spent a little bit of money on Bass Pro Shops uh, speed shads I'm gonna be using them as well with uh, jig heads um, just casting and retrieving so stay tuned hopefully uh, we get the first striper of 2020 I have a good feeling about tonight all right so for tonight's trip um, I'm gonna just showcase the rigs that I'm gonna be using just because um, it's gonna be tough to really show them at night with the amount of light that I have and I figured it'd be a little bit better presentation just to show you so these are my hand tied uh, triple hook rigs all right what I have here is a Gamagatsu uh, size 4 hook just a little float and about two inches off of a dropper loop um, one two and three hooks uh, be using probably an ounce and a half two ounces the other rig I'm going to be using, let me get it out here real quick. Uh, this is my go-to striper rig at uh, nighttime if you're using bloodworms. Now that's a size 2.0 um, Gamagatsu octopus hook. Um, it's just a regular high-low rig. They're easy to tie. Uh, don't go out and buy them because some of these bait stores charge an arm and a leg for them. I'll show you real quick how you could tie one. All right, so the first part of the rig is a just the loop for the weight. So what I'm doing, I'm grabbing the line and making pinching it, making a big loop, spinning it around my finger twice, and then feeding it through. I mean, there's a million ways to tie loops. I just prefer this one. Now, that's a perfect size weight loop for what type of weights I'm going to be using. Uh, one thing I'd like to do, I trim the tag end that way it's a more uh, clean look all right so step number two I'm gonna get the line I have it on the weight line or the weight loop in my left hand I'm gonna go up a few inches and start to make my first dropper loop now what I'm doing I'm just making a big loop spinning it about six seven times and then I feed the other piece through and pull it tight just like so now that's my first loop my second one I'm going to try and put just below it so that's going to be right about here because I want to do I want to leave enough line to tie the uh, top of the rig Perfect. All right, and the last part is just going to be a weight loop. All right, so the last step would just be to put the hooks through the eyelet, just like so. Once you get it through, um, I like to go under and then feed the hook back through 
That way it keeps the hook from moving. Um, and then we're going to just put on the second hook right here. All right, let's get hook number two on. Man, my vision is getting worse as the years go on. There we go. And these aren't even small eyelets. I don't know about you at home, but it's so hard sometimes to put uh, hooks on. So here we go. Just your regular high-low rig, weight end, line you just tie it to that loop. And right there, you just saved yourself 4 or $5. I mean, that took me less than a minute to do. Um, I've had enough. Of All right, so the three things you're going to need, pliers or some type of line cutting device, line, which I'm just using some cheapo Walmart special 20-pound mono, and hooks, which are going to be 2.0 Gamagatsu uh, hooks. The rig I'm doing is this nice little high-low rig. Um, what I plan on doing later tonight is going out to a spot that I know holds stripers. Um, if you've been following the channel, you know that I've gone out uh, yesterday trying to catch them and only came up with a spiny dogfish. So I'm determined tonight I'm going to make it my mission to get the first striper of 2020. Um, bait I'm going to be using is bloodworms. Uh, which I'll be putting on these hooks. Uh, be using anywhere from one to three ounces of weight, depending on the tide. Um, typically, this type of fishing, I, I do bring some artificials with me, but I'm not sure if that will actually uh, pan out tonight. But this time of year, I know you can't go wrong with bloodworms. So hopefully, you know, that two dozen that I purchased, because I knew that the striper bite was going to pick up. Hopefully they come through tonight, but uh, stay tuned and hopefully we'll get that first striper tonight. First striper of 2020. We're going to let this guy go. There we go. Yeah, it, it was hitting it for a while. Don't feel big. Honestly, it feels smaller than that last one I caught. But hey, a fish is a fish, right? Damn. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, let's go. Ooh. Yeah, look at that little guy. Ooh. Yep. You could probably live line this guy for bait. Oh my God, <laughs> I mean, it's illegal, but I mean, that's, right. that'd be a... Everyone will be up in <laughs> cahoots about it. Oh yeah. All right, let's let this little guy go. All right, just putting new blood worm on. Let's send her back out. Damn. Oh, 
right, let's see. Whoa. Nah. Oh, damn. Son, look at the size of that perch. Damn, look at that perch. Damn, dude, that thing's... I'm, I actually brought a ruler. I want to see how big that guy is. And let him flip. 12 inches? That ain't... Yeah, you want them? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. I gotta tighten the drag a little bit, man. Damn, that's got a good head shake. But this is on the lighter tackle, so it feels big. Probably just as big as that first one I caught. Nah, just a single. Whoa. Look at that, fell off the hook. Wow. Man, that has a little striper. They sure do give a good fight though. Right. Grow up to be a 50 pounder. Damn. Damn, that one almost ripped the rod out of my arm. Yeah. Holy shit. It's a lighter tackle though. Ending the night the right way, you know what I mean? Last cast, yielding something. Yeah, I'm gonna swing this guy over. Whoa. Sorry. Oh, man. man, that one had some fight in him. Nice. It's a big boy, baby. Good shit, you gotta get a picture of that one. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna let this guy go. Oh, let me find some more good. All right, so just leaving the spot, uh, left them biting. Don't usually like doing that, but uh, you know, I want to get home. My daughter's asleep, but I know if you have a young child or an infant, you know that their sleep patterns are not the greatest. So I want to be, you know, 100% for her in the morning. I don't want to be out here all night and then, you know, real dreary and tired tomorrow for her you know gotta get your priorities in order but i will say this man i'm happy as hell to catch uh first striper 2020 although they were small stripers i mean you know anytime your line's tight is a good time you know what i mean but uh i hope you did enjoy today's video um I do plan on doing a striper series coming up and showcasing various ways you can actually catch them. Um, so stay tuned for that. And as always, if you like my videos, uh, please drop a comment down below. Also, if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to my page. All right, thanks. Have a good night.